This is a tutorial on altitudes and medians of triangles. Let's first begin by discussing altitudes. An altitude is a perpendicular segment, that which forms a right angle, from the vertex of a triangle to the line that contains the opposite base of the triangle. So what does that mean exactly? Well, let's draw a triangle and I'll show you. Let's begin by naming this triangle. Triangle A, B, C. Next, what I'd like to do is draw the first altitude. Now we know that an altitude is a perpendicular segment from the vertex of a triangle to the line that contains the opposite base. So let's look at B first, vertice B. We want a line to come down from that vertex that's going to intersect the base AC perpendicularly, so at a right angle. So I'll draw a line from B down. So here we have our first line. You can tell that it's coming from a vertex, vertex B, and it's going to intersect a line that contains the opposite base. In this case it actually does intersect the opposite base, not just a line that contains the opposite base and it intersects it at a 90 degree angle, as you can see right there. Now let's do the same for vertices A and C. We'll draw an altitude for each of those. Here's the vertice from A, the altitude from A to its opposite side, BC, and here we see the altitude from vertice C to the opposite side, AB. Now notice that the three altitudes that we've drawn all seem to intersect at a point right here in the center of the triangle. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. It's also important to note that not every triangle will have that intersection point in the, inside the triangle. Some triangles it will be outside or even on the triangle. That point of intersection that we see is actually known as the orthocenter, the point where the three altitudes of a triangle meet. So let's take a look at another orthocenter. Let's take a look at the orthocenter for triangle ABC. We've labeled this orthocenter O, as you can see right here. That is orthocenter O for triangle ABC. Now, there's nothing in particular that's important that you need to know right now about the orthocenter, just that it's the point where the three altitudes of a triangle meet. Now that we've discussed altitudes and orthocenters, I'd like us to discuss medians. A median is any segment inside a triangle that begins at the midpoint of one of the triangle sides and ends at the opposite vertex. So let's draw a triangle and take a look at that. So let's begin by naming this triangle. We'll name it triangle X, Y, Z. I'll begin by drawing a median from vertice Y. Here you can see that I've drawn a segment down from Y to the side opposite that vertice Y. And that segment actually cuts that side XZ into two congruent segments. Now notice that unlike the altitude, we don't necessarily need to intersect the opposite side of the vertice at a right angle. All that's important is that we're bisecting the opposite side, so that we're bisecting side XZ. Now I'm going to draw a median from vertice X. You'll notice again, with the median that I've just drawn, that we didn't necessarily intersect segment YZ at a 90 degree angle, but we did bisect segment YZ. Lastly, let's draw a median from vertice Z to side XY. Okay, you can see that the vertice that I've drawn again cuts segment XY into two congruent segments. You also might notice now that the three medians that we've drawn in this triangle actually all intersect at one point. We're going to label that point point M for the median. 
Now that we've learned a little bit about medians, let's take a look at centroids. A centroid is a point in a triangle that will always be exactly two-thirds the distance from the midpoint of one side of a triangle to its opposite vertex. Another definition for the centroid is the point where the three medians of a triangle intersect. So if you look at our triangle XYZ, you'll notice that that point, that centroid, is point M. Now let's draw the centroid in a triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle, and we're going to label it triangle QRS. I've already drawn in the medians on triangle QRS. And I've also drawn in the centroid, the place where all three medians meet. We've labeled it point P right here in the triangle. So let's discuss how all the words there under the definition for centroid, how they work out on a triangle. What's important about those to you? So we're going to start by breaking down segment RP and then the the line from P down to the triangle side QS. So what I'm referring to now is this whole segment right here. R all the way down to the base QS. Let's say that this segment had a whole length of 9. Now we know that point P, the centroid, is a point where any median inside the triangle is broken up into two separate lengths. One length that is two-thirds of the total length and one that is one-third of the total length. So you can tell that RP is longer than from point P to the base QS. We're going to name this length or we're going to decide that it is two-thirds the total length of nine total length of this segment from vertice R down to the base of triangle QRS. And the lower portion of that segment must be the remaining one-third of the total length. So if the total length is 9 and the top part of that segment is two-thirds of 9, well two-thirds of 9 we know is 6. So this part, portion of the segment must be 6 units long and the lower third of the section is one-third of the total length, one-third of nine, which is three. So if you add those two segments together, you'll get a total of nine, which is the total length of that segment. Now what I'd like to do is show you a common algebra problem associated with centroids and medians in a triangle. Let's take a look at this. What if you knew that that same segment we were just discussing was broken into the same two parts, and the top portion, PR, had a length of 6x minus 3, this length right here. And the lower portion, P, down to the base leg of the triangle, QS, had a length of 6. How could you solve for the value of x, knowing what you know about a centroid? Well, here's what you could do. Since we know that the top segment, 6x minus 3, is two-thirds the length of the overall segment, let's write the algebra problem like this. The top segment, 6x minus 3, is equal to two-thirds the length of the overall segment, 6x minus 3, plus the 6 from the bottom portion of the segment. Now, let's simplify everything. On the left, we still have 6x minus 3. That's equal to 2 thirds of, and let's simplify everything inside the parentheses. So the negative 3 and the positive 6 makes a positive 3. So we have 6x plus 3 in the parentheses. Now I'm going to rewrite it, and I'm going to simplify or distribute that two-thirds through the parentheses set. So two-thirds of 6x is actually 4x, and two-thirds times 3 is 2. Now we want to get all our x's on one side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. 6x minus 4x is 2x 
carry down the negative 3 is equal to the x's have cancelled out now on the right hand side and it's equal to 2. Since we want just the x on one side of the equation I'm going to add 3 to both sides and we'll have the x's or excuse me the 3's on the left hand side cancelling out so we'll have 2x on the left is equal to 2 plus 3 so 5. Let's bring our work over a little bit now and we have 2x is equal to 5. We want to get x alone, so I'm going to divide by 2 now on both sides of the equation. And we're going to have x is equal to 5 over 2. That is how you might see a typical problem expressed using medians and centroids 